Thank you guys for coming back to my channel for this week's video. It's gonna be entitled Holding On Too Long. If you saw my video from last week, I started a series on mistakes that women make. Um, I just thought that it might be easier for me to kind of do some videos up front and do kind of like a series type thing so that I can post more regularly um, because it just really has been crazy with all the new changes that I had last month. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into this video. Stay tuned, hopefully something in it will help you. because um, I know that I am long-winded and um, you know people don't appreciate my 20 minute videos <laughs> all the time to get to the point um, so my first one is gonna be asking questions and getting advice when we already know the answer all right so um, Kev Hicks talks guys with girls um, if you guys haven't checked out his YouTube channel definitely go ahead and do it he's um, raw and nitty-gritty about um, relationship advice and he does consultations and things like that as well so if that's something you feel like you want from a male perspective definitely go check him out he's definitely given me some support in the past and so I'm very grateful for that um, and so okay so I was looking at his live last night and um, it was funny because there was women kind of like shaming other women, which I mean, I don't know, but I'm not gonna get into like the morale about all of that, but um, there's some women on there shaming other women for asking stupid questions or quote unquote stupid questions. There's technically no stupid questions. Um, however, um, I wanted to just kind of follow up on some of this stuff. Okay, so I guess my biggest thing um, with the situation that I saw last night is like, why are you asking questions you already know the answer to? Like, I mean, just downright questions that are like, now girl, if you took the time to type that question and read it back to yourself, you should have already known how it sounded um so why even ask like if someone is cheating on you someone is you know ghosting you someone is you know really aloof about you someone is you know still married <laughs> I mean it's like you already know the answer to your question like run away fast don't look back don't pass go like just go you know I just I don't know it's it was hard for me to look at some of that stuff because I'm like god like I'm really just not that bad <laughs> because I mean at least when I was in these crap tap crap tastic relationships I knew I was in a craptastic relationship. Like I wasn't oblivious to that. I didn't need to go and ask somebody else's advice about it. You know, if it was something kind of specific that was like, well, I'm kind of on the fence. What do you think about this? You know, that's one thing, but it's like, you know that like you shouldn't be in certain relationships. You know if a guy is doing X, Y, Z, you just shouldn't keep continuing to deal with them. So it's like, why ask advice about something you already know? You know, I got on a, soap about, a soapbox about that, but it's like, just do yourself a favor and do what you need to do, you know? I just, I don't understand, you know, how someone can keep trying to get advice and keep trying to make a situation that they even know in their heart of hearts is messed up. Like, how do they feel like they're going to get advice from somebody else? It's almost like, we want to get the advice that we want to hear, but at the same time, we may or may not do what the person is telling us to do. Um, and then we're secretly hoping that somebody will tell us to stay, even though we know we shouldn't. It's like, that got real complicated and tricky on his live. His lives be for real. So subscribe to his channel. <laughs> and I mean, if nothing else for the comments. Um, so my second thing is praying God will take them away but when they go you still hold on 
So let me explain this real quick. Scenario of mine. Okay, so I am a prayer. Like I, I've, ever since I've gotten saved, like I, you know, if there's one thing that I do do, I'm gonna pray every day. Or if, you know, God don't strike me, you know, I'm gonna try to pray every single day. Um, I'm gonna miss a few days in, you know, these 20 years. Um, however, like, it's just really important that you're praying the right way. So let me give you a scenario of what I was doing. So in my relationships, I'm praying that God will show me if they're the ones for me, that God will take them out of my lives, uh, out of my life if they're not good for me, um, that God will do this, that God will do that in relation to the other person making an action or showing me, telling me, whatever. So, okay, great. God answers my prayer of showing me they're not the right person. And then God also shows me, you know, in their actions that they're not the right person. Um, and everything lines up with they're not the right person. Um, however, I still stuck around and tried to make things work. So God showing me and showing me and showing me what I needed to know. I'm praying that like, you know, he'll get them out of my life and then they get out of my life and I'm wanting to keep them and bring them back. So just be real careful about that. I've really definitely <laughs> learned my lesson about praying that way. Um, it was the absolute wrong, wrong way to pray. I should have been praying for my own strength and my own willpower to walk away from a man that doesn't want me, that's not ready for the awesomeness that I can give him because I feel like I'm a good person like all of you. And, you know, we deserve a good person too. You know, we, were, we deserve somebody that's going to love us, that's going to respect us, that's going to, you know, be able to, have healthy boundaries with us and you know be realistic be honest be a good communicator like we deserve so much more than what I think that we're always chasing after and so that'll be my advice that if you're praying the same way I was praying you know change your prayer and ask God to give you the strength to walk away for you the strength to know better and you to know the difference and for you not to get your feelings and emotions so far out of whack and all that um so definitely think about that so those are the couple things that I just felt like I wanted to say about the subject of holding on too long is that I think that us women just really just have a hard time and I get it because I've been there. Um, but at the same time, like we have to be able to find the strength to walk away, to know our worth, all the things that, you know, men are trying to tell us and show us and their actions and their words even a lot of the time you know they'll blatantly tell us stuff and we're like distorting it in our minds um so it's gonna sting a little bit but i think that if you pray about it and if you wait on god if you watch and see what he's doing if you just constantly you know just being in the spirit and you know pray without ceasing i really feel like it might sting but it's not gonna hurt as bad as if you're doing things without him that's when we really are heartbroken that's when we really can't pick ourselves up that's when we really just can't see straight and you know we're just really broken um i think that like i said praying about things with god is going to, to maybe still sting because he's trying to teach us a lesson um but it's just not gonna hurt as bad and he's gonna be able to mend those pieces back together for you a lot faster than if you're trying to do it without him so Hope those, those couple things, I'm trying to do shorter videos, I know, blah, 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 I'm always talking so much. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to do shorter videos, so I just wanted to give you guys a couple things that were on my heart. And um, so stay tuned next week, I'm going to be doing a video on ignoring the good guy and pushing the right ones away. Um, so that's going to be just a video about just my own personal experiences with, you know, dating the bad guys, dating the good guys, you know, which one is better, um, hint the good ones. <laughs> so, um, stay tuned for that next week. If you liked and appreciated this video, um, comment below, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next week for the last video in my series about mistakes women make.